Everyone's talking about running AI models locally, but here's the thing nobody tells you. Most people are stuck choosing between two very different approaches. I've been testing both Olama and LM Studio for months now, and honestly picking the wrong one could completely kill your local AI experience before it even starts. Let me start with Olama, because this is where things get interesting. Olama is basically the command line warrior's dream. It's designed for developers who want complete control over their local AI setup. What surprised me most is how stupidly simple it is to get started. You literally just run one command and you're downloading models. But here's where it gets weird. That simplicity is also its biggest weakness for most people. Here's what Olama actually is. It's a lightweight runtime that lets you run large language models locally through your terminal. Think of it like Docker, but specifically for AI models. The pricing is dead simple. It's completely free, no catches, no premium tiers, just download and go. Most users love how fast it is. Seriously, once you have a model downloaded, responses are lightning quick compared to cloud APIs. But let's be real, there's a catch. If you're not comfortable with command lines, Olama is going to feel like trying to drive a Ferrari with a manual transmission when you've only driven automatic. <sighs> I know what you're thinking, how hard can typing commands be? Here's the thing, it's not just about typing, it's about troubleshooting when things go wrong, managing different model versions, and understanding what's happening under the hood. The biggest complaint I see is that people feel lost without a visual interface. Now here's where LM Studio comes in, and this is where things get controversial. LM Studio is basically the exact opposite approach. It's all about making local AI as user-friendly as possible. You get a beautiful graphical interface that looks like something Apple would design, complete with model browsing, chat interfaces, and settings you can actually understand. What LM Studio really is, it's a desktop application that handles all the complex stuff behind the scenes. You can browse models like you're shopping on an app store, download them with progress bars you can actually see, and start chatting without touching a single line of code. The pricing is just like Olama, completely free for personal and business use, which honestly shocked me when I first discovered it. Most users are obsessed with how approachable it is. I've watched complete beginners go from never running a local model to having conversations with Llama within minutes. The interface makes everything visual. You can see your GPU usage, RAM consumption, and model performance in real time. It's like having a dashboard for your AI. But here's the problem nobody talks about. And pay attention to this next part. LM Studio's user-friendliness comes with trade-offs. It's more resource-heavy than Olama, it doesn't support Linux yet, and if you want to integrate it into automated workflows or build applications on top of it, you're going to hit walls pretty quickly. The online consensus seems to be that it's perfect for experimentation, but limiting for serious development work. Now let's talk about something that actually matters, performance and model compatibility. This is where things get really interesting, and honestly, where most people make their biggest mistakes. Olama has this brilliant model management system that automatically handles quantization which is basically compressing models to run faster on your hardware. I've tested the same Llama model on both platforms, and a Llama consistently delivers faster inference times, especially on lower-end hardware. But here's what surprised me. LM Studio actually gives you more control over individual model settings. You can tweak things like context length, temperature, and sampling parameters with sliders and dropdowns that actually make sense. With a Llama, you're either editing config files or passing parameters through command line arguments, which sounds scary but honestly becomes second nature pretty quickly. The model ecosystem is where things get complicated, though. A Llama has this curated library approach. They test models and make sure they work reliably before adding them to their registry. It's like having a quality control team, but it also means you're limited to what they've approved. LM Studio takes the opposite approach. You can basically download any GGUF model from Hugging Face and throw it in there. More freedom, but also more ways to break things. Here's something most reviews miss entirely, the community support situation. Olama has this incredibly active GitHub community where developers are constantly sharing scripts, integrations, and solving problems together. It's like having a tech support team that never sleeps. LM Studio's community is smaller, but way more focused on practical use cases. You'll find people sharing prompt templates, model recommendations, and troubleshooting guides that actually help regular users. Plot twist though, the real game changer is how these tools handle updates and new models. Olama updates are seamless. You literally just pull the latest version of a model and you're done. LM Studio requires you to manually download new model files, which can be annoying, but also gives you more control over your storage and model versions. Here is my honest take after months of using both. If you're a developer, researcher, or someone who plans to build applications with local AI, Olama is your answer. Yes, there's a learning curve, but once you get it, you'll have the flexibility to do basically anything. The command line interface becomes a superpower when you realize you can script everything, automate model switching, and integrate it into larger systems. But if you're a content creator, researcher, or just someone who wants to experiment with local AI without becoming a terminal expert, LM Studio is brilliant. The interface removes so much friction that you'll actually use it instead of giving up after the first technical hurdle.
I'll be straight with you. Most people who try Olama first end up abandoning local AI entirely because the barrier feels too high. Here's what's really interesting though. You don't have to pick just one. I actually use both. Olama for development work and automation, LM Studio for quick experiments, and when I want to show someone how local AI works, they can even share the same models in some cases, so you're not wasting storage space. Bottom line, choose Olama if you're comfortable with command lines and want maximum flexibility. Choose LM Studio if you want the easiest path to local AI and don't mind some limitations. Both are free, both are actively developed, and both will give you that privacy and control that makes local AI worth the effort. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about tools side by side every week across finance, marketing, software design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.